Hey everybody, it's Anna. Welcome to the Tuesday card in this week's tarot story. We have today the Knight of Wands. So wands are connected to the element of fire. They're about feeling inspired and confident and passionate. And the knight is the action taker of the court cards. He's the one actually doing stuff in the world. So you've got a combination of the action taker with passion and fire. It's a pretty dynamic card. And actually you can even see this, this, um, this horse is like, like rearing up. It's so ready to run forward. It's rearing up. So the Knight of Wands is, is very, very into making things happen in the world, following his passion, feeling very confident about his inspiration. So really taking steps forward to make something happen. So this is an invitation to us to, to do the same thing. If, they, if we've been kind of contemplating an idea, contemplating inspiration, you know, sort of playing with it, you know, thinking about it. This card would say, okay, what's the action step? It's time to move forward. Start making things happen. As we lend our energy into moving things on the planet, we also create a possibility or an invitation for the universe to offer us resonant support. So really, it's funny how we will sometimes think, well, I'm going to wait until I get support to start moving. I mean, I, that's not a bad strategy. It just doesn't work. <laughs> like You have to start moving first. Even if it's just taking one or two action steps, you have to move forward in order to sort of act Activate the sequence of events that gets you support. So, um, so you know, we kind of we kind of want to have it the other way around because that feels like the safer or more reasonable model. Um, and for some people that might work, but for non-linear heart or body intuitives, um, faith is really important. And faith means believing in things and taking action in things before they are manifested. Otherwise, they don't get manifested. So, um, yesterday's card was the sun reverse, and we talked about how um, that card connects to me. Um, to an invitation to recognize this powerful giftedness within ourselves, this unshakable, consistent giftedness within ourselves, which has always been activated our entire lives. But now we're being invited to like bring it from our unconscious experience and make it conscious, like partnering with it in a conscious way. So we are now going to not identify ourselves as victims or survivors or, or, um, you know, whatever we're identifying ourselves, as, identifying ourselves as sun, as vital energy and gift for the world. So it's a it's a lovely shift in the major in the spiritual journey, in the major arcana, where we start seeing ourselves primarily as gift and sun and power. So, but it was reversed, and we talked about how maybe we're struggling a little to get the sense of our own power. Well, this card would help us get started, right? The Knight of Wands is like. Believing yourself, pushing forward, stepping over that, you know, stepping over that, that line in the sand that of being cautious and just starting to take action. So, and when we take action, you know, as I said, the universe is able to respond to us. We begin to recognize and feel the truth of our own power and passion. We begin to feel that sun energy burning in us. It is always burning in us, but when we move, we can actually, and we make a choice to move and take action. We are now inviting it to flow through us. We're now making room for our own awareness of that energy. And even though I think, I think our gifts always move for us, move through us as long as we're alive, something really special happens when we are consciously doing it. Now we, we become the magicians. We're not just being Magic is not just being worked upon us. We become the magicians. And that really is kind of amazing. So consider today what your passion is. What have you been delaying? What have you been holding off on waiting for the right timing? And instead saying the right timing happens when I start moving. I will discover it's the right timing when I start moving. Uh, because as you move, new things will open up to you. So consider what you can do today to get started. Start feeling that energy burning within you. I'll see you tomorrow for our next card. Bye.